post secret the show will be in dubuque wednesday february 24th at the five flags theater that show starts at 7 30 p.m tickets are available on ticketmaster as well as the five flags center website i just got off the phone with frank warren the creator of post secret and uh, let's take a listen to that interview so i guess first of all um you know you created this whole uh, this whole website what what initially attracted you to you know the idea of secrets uh, i think when a project like this takes your life and turns it upside down there's usually multiple reasons i think one was probably a, a boring job i had at the time so i was kind of pursuing these creative uh projects and um but, you know, another driving factor, I think, was when I was a, a child in my own family. I, I noticed secrets that we kept as a family, and I later noticed secrets that were kept from me as part of that family. And so maybe that was the initial fascination with these family secrets and stories. Mm -hmm. uh, later on, looking back on why I started, maybe, maybe a deeper reason was that even though I didn't know it at the time, I was struggling with secrets in my own life, secrets I was keeping for myself. Mm -hmm. And by creating this safe place where others could share, uh, maybe ultimately I needed it just as much. Okay, and I saw um, I saw your TED talk and, and that you had over half a million secrets uh, that, that people have sent in. Um, how do you manage that? I mean, do you have a room? <laughs> basically where you keep all the secrets? Do you have people help you with that, or how does that work? Yeah, it's a lot more secrets now, and um, I used to keep them all in my basement. <laughs> um, if you actually go to Google Maps, you can see a, a, a Google Maps sphere, 360 degrees photo of my basement when I used to keep them there in Germantown. But now they, they're all at uh, the Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. It's a uh, a pyramid of postcards taller than me, probably a, a ton, uh, one secret at a time. Did that, uh, I mean, did that ever get overwhelming at any point? Were, was there a time where you almost, you know, wanted people to stop sending you postcards? Yeah, it's funny, but after 10 years, I would have to say, no, um, I still feel like a kid Christmas morning going to the mailbox to see what uh, secrets have, have, have come from the world each day. If there is a part of the project that's overwhelming, I would say, one, it's emails, keeping up with, with my inbox, probably just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And sometimes, two, um, traveling. You know, I, I spend probably 40 to 50 hours a week on secrets now. And a lot of that is traveling to support Post Secret the Show. And mm -hmm. I also do uh, live performances at college campuses. So, for example, um, just last week I was in Saskatchewan and Ontario and New York, and one day I had to take four flights to get to one specific location. Wow. So the secrets themselves aren't burdensome, but sometimes the the day-to-day -day activity around email and travel uh, do get to be difficult. I mean, ultimately, I feel very fortunate that somehow I've been able to earn the trust of so hundreds of thousands of strangers from around the world. And have you ever gotten any secrets? I mean, I'm sure you have. Have you ever gotten any that um, you just kind of disregarded? Either they <clears throat> were, you know, someone was just trying to be funny or, you know, someone was being like really aggressive. You know, their secret was something that probably wouldn't, you know, be good to share on the internet. I mean, do you ever get uh, those kind of secrets? I don't think of myself as, uh, as someone who censors the secret. I think of Post Secret more as a clearinghouse. So I try and, and share back to the community everything that's mailed to me. Um, but when you open up your home to the world secrets, my home address, um, and hundreds of thousands come in, you have to be prepared for all kinds of confessions. So I have been contacted um, by the police before over secrets um, wow. because they can they can touch on every human emotion you know, they can be funny they can be hopeful 
They can be tragic. They can be criminal. They can be romantic. They can be hidden acts of kindness. And with each confession, there's this artistic illustration or photograph or collage on the postcard that further conveys the emotion behind the secret. If you had to pick, you know, your favorite or a few of your favorite secrets that you've gotten, what would those be? kindness. I remember one that said I sold my Range Rover so I could afford to adopt my niece. Wow. Another one that said um, I serve decaf to customers who are rude to me. And that one was mailed in on a postcard made out of a Starbucks cup. Mm -hmm. um, one I got, which was eye-opening, it said remember that time you accidentally walked in on me when I was using the public bathroom. I left the door unlocked on purpose. Huh. Um, what else? What came on a postcard that said, everyone who knew me before 9-11 believes I'm dead? And it was a picture of the Twin Towers in New York. Uh, I saw that one on your, uh, on your TED Talk. That's There's interesting. Yeah, there have been marriage proposals, and you know, people have come together and, and separated through the transformative power of secrets. They, they really touch on every human emotion. That's why I think you know, the website has had so many hits. It's had over 750 million hits. There have been six best-selling post-secret books. There's something about this, these confessions. The, the authenticity just grabs people's hearts. And how do you, um, I mean, obviously you'll be in, in Dubuque on Wednesday. How do you translate that into, uh, into a show? What, you know, what kind of, what goes on during the shows? Yeah, well, we've been working on Post Secret, the show, for over five years. And we've brought together some secrets that have never been seen before, as well as some of the inspiring and romantic and painful and funny uh, stories behind the secrets. We uh, endeavor to bring those stories to life with three actors. We also have a musician on stage. And we try to do some experimental things in the production. Uh, we uh, invite the actors to each reveal one of their true secrets to the audience live. We never know what that's going to be. And then at halftime, we invite audience members to write their secrets on postcards to have them possibly read back in the second act by the actors on stage. Um, one of the things that's dramatized in the play is the most unforgettable phone call I ever received when I was a volunteer on the suicide prevention hotline before Post Secret. Mm -hmm. But still, kind of listening to people's confessions at 2 a.m. and 3 a.m. And then another emotional part of the performance is um, at the end of the first act, when we share back those voicemail messages um, that people have been saving on their, their smartphones, sometimes for years. You probably heard that on the TED Talk, too. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, um, I guess lastly, you know, it seems like, you know, uh, sharing secrets has been a real cathartic experience for people, and, and they get this kind of freedom out of it. Um, but with that said, why don't or why do you think people don't do this more often? I mean, why are why do you think people keep secrets rather than being you know just more transparent in their daily lives? Yeah, it's a great question. Um, let me just add one more thing about the play too, and that's that everything in the play is nonfiction. It comes from uh, stories that have happened as a result of people sharing secrets or emails or stories that have been told to me that from people who've been inspired to change their life because of somebody else's confession. So it's all kind of a crowdsource from the post secret community. Cool. One of the most popular secrets I get um, says, basically, um, I'm someplace on that journey trying to find that one person who I can tell all of my secrets to, who I can be my soul and true and whole self with. Mm -hmm. That's a secret I see written dozens of different ways on postcards every every week. And I think 
think one of the reasons, well, it's really kind of a paradox, too, I think, that at this time where there's so much communication technology available to us, uh, there's, there, there never seems to have been a, uh, more, more people that feel a sense of isolation and loneliness. And mm-hmm. I think it has to do with a number of factors. I think uh, people have a fear that if they tell their, their, their true secrets, their real self, there'll be a sense of judgment. They might feel different or, or shame or, or separation from everyone. Um, because when you keep a secret inside, it feels like this wall that separates you from others. Mm-hmm. But what I hope Post Secret and Post Secret The Show do is through sharing of secrets, remind us that these secrets that we believe are walls are actually bridges uh, connecting us to others, to our true self, and that it's an illusion that people are ever alone with their secret. They're not. They're, they're always connected to a, a larger community, to other people who feel the same way. You just can't feel it sometimes in our everyday lives. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's, uh, that's all I have. Thanks for uh, taking the time to talk to me today. You bet, DJ.